So Nick's question is, historically, Scientology has had a difficult relationship with the United States government, including its law enforcement agencies. During Hubbard's lifetime, Scientologists have infiltrated the IRS. When this was discovered, the FBI raided Scientology offices and unearthed enough paperwork for the courts to send 11 Scientologists, including Hubbard's wife, to prison for their roles in that infiltration. In short, there's no love lost between Scientology and the U.S. government. So here's a request for speculation. What do you think would happen today if a person walked into an org, started to do introductory services, and then, in due course, disclose that they are an FBI agent. Conversely, what would happen if a practicing Scientologist decided to apply for a job with the FBI? Please feel free to speculate both in terms of Scientology's response and the FBI's response. Okay, so um, yes, the, the relationship between Sci the Church of Scientology and any alphabet organization, FBI, CIA, you know, DHS, any of them, is uh, one of contention. But it's a quiet contention. Ever since the IRS victory in 1993 with the tax exemption, uh, Hubbard, or rather Miscavige, declared that the war is over and they wouldn't be in a state of outright hostility and war anymore between the church and the U.S. government. Since that time, uh, Miscavige has worked to get his PR people and, um, and behind-the-scenes people and his attorneys to um, create good relationships in the government. And they do have a couple of senators and representatives, and, and I can't name names because I don't know them all, but I do know that those relationships exist, that they have uh, cultivated and spent a lot of money to, to cultivate. In fact, um, uh, an example was uh, uh, Pam Biondi. There's a name, you know, that I can give you, uh, who was a district attorney in, uh, or state, I think, attorney general for Florida. And, ha and I know she has political aspirations, and, and Scientology was definitely cultivating a relationship with her. Um, so, so they work on those relationships behind the scenes. But this does not mean everything is rosy and wonderful and, uh, and all you know, peachy keen between these organizations. Uh, I don't think the U.S. government uh, as, a, as a body, I don't think the IRS as a body particularly trusts the Church of Scientology. You know, I don't think they uh, want to go after them again. I don't think the level of distrust is that high, but I don't think that they, you know, think that Scientology is totally on the up and up. I think they consider the Church of Scientology a necessary evil along with every other, you know, destructive cult and religious group and, and sort of questionable group in the United States that has First Amendment protection and 501c3 uh, status. Now, as far as Scientology's view goes, though, they will not allow people who are, uh, at least as far as the point that I left the church in 2012, Church policy was that if you are a member of one of those alphabet organizations, you are not going to be doing advanced services in Scientology. If a um, you know FBI agent or or their family either, uh, if you were an FBI agent and you walked in and started doing some introductory services, at that level they're not going to be asking you if you're a member of the CIA, FBI, NSA, or or any of those kind of groups. Generally speaking. You come in, you pay 50 bucks, you, you sign up for one of those, you know, communications courses or, you know, how to improve your marriage course or how to get along with your kids course. And you can do that course and, and nobody's going to ask you questions about your uh, life affiliations too deeply. Uh, if you were to offer that information up, they would then start coming up with excuses as to why you can't be doing services. And it would get awkward. I, you know, I realized this would be like a weird, awkward situation, but, um, but that would be the case. They're not supposed to be servicing mem you know, IRS officials or uh, FBI officials or people like that. So, and I also don't think, given the previous contentious relationship between the those government agencies and between Scientology, I don't think you'd really see FBI or CIA agents going into a church to do services. It's I never, it's certainly in all the years that I was involved, it never came up 
that they overtly came into the church to do services. Um, covertly, yes, right, in the, over the years in, sci in the history of the Church of Scientology, the FBI did send people in to do services. Um, I think uh, I read somewhere, although it was in one of these conspiracy type things, so I don't totally trust this source, but I read that the Air Force had sent some people in because they were all interested in Hubbard's OT technology, right? Uh, out of body, you know, remote viewing, that kind of thing. But that was back in the uh, early 70s. Um, Ingo Swan time period, you know, this, this kind of stuff. And there's a lot of nonsense flying around on the internet about uh, the government's interest in Scientology and how the government has taken over Scientology covertly and got rid of Hubbard and, and sent in a body double or, or uh, that's how David Miscavige took power. And, and I just don't, I'm not even going to go there because those, those ideas are so ridiculous. But, um, but anyway, that is the church's response to, per, per the church's policies on government uh, officials and alphabet organization officials would be to deny them services, they would not be qualified, and they would be shown the door. That kind of thing, like I said, wouldn't come up during the introductory services, but once you start going over to the more advanced services where you're really doing the, the more hardcore Scientology stuff, um, which is basically the difference between being in Division 6 of the organization, which is the public divisions, Moving over to Division 4, which is the technical division or the division that delivers, you know, the real Scientology services, when you make that change, they do interviews on you uh, with a meter and they ask you questions, including, are you a member of the FBI, CIA, DHS, NSA? Are you, you know, part of the government? And if you are, you know, if you are or if your family members are, then you could be deemed an illegal PC or you could be denied services altogether. So that's, and they'll, that it's, you know, sort of taken on a case by case basis, but generally they're going to show you the door. So, 